Let us pray. Lord, thank you that you are here with us. And we ask that you would open our hearts and our minds to you, to your presence. And we would say to you, speak, Lord, your servants are listening. For it is in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, that we pray. Amen. Please be seated. I'm very glad that Padre, Padre Jose Rodriguez is here to translate for me, so we will be going back and forth together, okay? And I told him, since he's translating, that means the sermon is only half as long, so it's not going to be twice as long since he translated. I, I want to talk to you today about how you think about God. There are two pictures of God that are presented in the lessons this morning. One is of a very, very fearful judge who will come and judge the world and will also come and judge each of us. That's what we see in the first lesson from the Old Testament, where God is going to come and judge the world. He will judge the world for all of the wrongs that they have done. And then we have in the Gospel reading, another picture, a parable about a master who we think could be God who judges people for how well they have handled the things that they have been given. Then we have another picture of God that is in the epistle reading. This is a God that takes care of us this is a God who protects us and where it says God has not destined us for wrath but for salvation so what is the difference and more importantly which do you know if we did not have a picture of Jesus, si no un de Jesucristo, what we would know is only a God who judges. Un Dios quien busca. And there are many who are afraid of that God. Y hay quien a ese Dios. But in Jesus we see something new and different. Pero Jesucristo, vemos algo nuevo diferente. This is the Jesus who loves us, este es el Jesús que nos ama. who cares for us, who forgives us of all of our wrongdoing and promises to never leave us or forsake us. Jesus came to show us that God was in fact love for those who put their trust in Him. You see, I only know about the love of God because of what I see in Jesus. If I don't know the love that I see in Jesus, I think that life is very dangerous and God must be frightened. Jesus is our only place of safety. He is the one who says, I will never leave you or forsake you. He is the one who says, nothing can take you out of my hand. He is the one who promises forgiveness. He is the one who promises mercy. Which is why whenever he sees someone and they see him and they're afraid, he always says, do not be afraid. 
y él ve que tiene miedo, él le dice, no tengas miedo. Because we do not need to be afraid in the presence of Jesus. Porque no tenemos que tener miedo en la presencia de Jesús. So long as we have bent our knee and given him our lives. No hay punto de tener miedo mientras nosotros hemos hincado delante de él y le entregamos nuestra vida. That is the only condition that he asks of us. Esa es la única condición que él pide de nosotros. If we are not willing to serve him and to honor him, then what we will hear is, I did not know you, and the rejection of God, and judgment. Si no estamos disponibles a decir, tú eres un señor quitador y perfecto, lo que vamos entonces a recibir es este, la, la, la rejection de Dios, y el barco no va a decir que él no nos conoce. Without Jesus, who we will see is the God that judges that we read about in the Old Testament lesson this morning. Sin Jesús, quien hemos leído y hemos visto en la lección de hoy esta mañana. So the question is, la pregunta es, have you bent the knee? Have you given your life to Jesus? La pregunta es, tú te has entregado a Jesucristo, te has entregado delante del Señor. Because that is the only place of safety. Porque ese es el único lugar que necesitamos. You see, if you know Jesus and He is living in your heart, si a Jesús y en tu corazón, then I can say, as it is written in the epistle lesson, yo puedo decirte, como te escrito en la hoy, I am not in darkness. No estoy en la oscuridad. I'm in, I am in the light. Estoy en la luz. I do not have to be afraid. No tengo que temer. I know that I belong to him and that he will care for me. So, have you bent the knee and said, given your life to Jesus? If you know that, you will know his peace in your heart. You will know the companionship of his presence. There are people today who are going to be confirmed Confirmation means they are saying yes to Jesus. And they are giving their life to him. I'm going to pray for them when they are confirmed. And I will pray for the Holy Spirit to come and touch them inside. To assure them that they are placing their life in the hands of one who loves them. Even when we come to receive the Eucharist, you know, we extend our hands like this, yes? That is saying, I give you my life. And if you give your life to Jesus, he never says, oh, I don't want you. Which is why the priest always puts the bread in your hand. It's a way of God saying, here, I love you and I am feeding you. The Eucharist is a symbol of God's love and care for you. La Eucaristía es un símbolo del amor y la the care de Dios a ti mismo. ¿Para qué? Gracias. So today, those who are being confirmed or received are making promises to God. Hoy los que están um, siendo confirmados o recibidos están dando promesas a Dios. You also will make promises to God today. Tú también te vas a hacer promesas a Dios hoy. Both in the liturgy en la liturgia, and in the receiving of the Eucharist. Y en el de la Are you willing to speak them from your heart so you mean it? And place your life in God's hands. Y poner tu vida en las manos de Dios. For He will never leave you if you do. Porque él nunca te va a dejar si lo haces. You can count on His love. Puedes depender en su amor. 
and his protection and power. Dice y protección y poder. So today we are glad for those who are being confirmed and received. Hoy estamos felices y celebramos con ellos que van a ser confirmados y recibidos en la iglesia. But we are also using today as a way also for us to say yes to Jesus. Pero también estamos usando este día hoy para una manera para nosotros decirle sí a Jesucristo. So let us pray together. Oremos junto. Gracious Lord, I thank you that you do invite us to know your love and your mercy and your forgiveness. I ask that you would open our hearts to you and that you would give us the courage to say yes to you. That we might always know that you are with us and that you will never let us go. That you will lead us, that you will guide us, and that you will care for us. For it is in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord that we pray. Amen. Jose, wait.